Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project traffic marketing system and I have developed this project in Java, GSP and MySQL and uh, the JDK version I am using the JDK 1.8, MySQL version is 5.6 and Tomcat version is 7 and uh, this is a web based application so for front end development I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript some of the jQuery library also I have used like for form validations, integration of the calendar, plugins you can see there is a slider running on the home page so for these all things I am uh, using the jQuery plugins right so these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project and this is a Java JSP web based uh, project right so uh, let's start with the functionality go through that what's the functionalities are available inside this project what are the features we have implemented in it right so once you run this project you can see this home page you can see this is a simple home page this is a about project and this is a sim static about page that there is nothing dynamic on it this is admin login from here admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page this uh, uh, map is a real time google map and if you have internet connection then you can uh, in this map will be loaded else it will not be loaded right this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page so this is a, a static page even we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database right so from here admin can log in so user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you can perform these operations you can see there are a lot of operations are here right so admin can perform these all operations right so this is a add new so this is a dashboard and this is a dashboard page this is add new from here and can add the new route here he can select the route type state highway intercity so this drop down is a dynamic drop down and uh, the value of this drop down is coming from the database and you can fill you can enter all of the records and after that it will be saved inside the database this is a diversions from here you can add the diversions for the route new diversions right this this is a traffic from here you can add the traffic so on which uh, route dot there is a traffic you can add the traffic from here right so this is a traffic police and you can add the traffic police from here you can see police management all of the information you can enter here and after that you can save the details inside the database this is a add vehicle types from here you can add the vehicle type from here right so all of the drop downs which we have added here is totally dynamic drop down and all of the values are coming from the database right so you can see this is a root id so you can see this is a drop down and it's coming from the database also what the root you have added this is a traffic police and it will contain all of the traffic policies uh, you have added inside the database using the add traffic police section right this is a report from here you can see all of the reports you can see this is all of the reports you can edit root and after that you can edit the root so this is a CRUD application of the root create read update and delete operations this is all diversions report this is all of the diversions which you have added and you can edit the diversions from here also right this is all traffic reports all, all all of the traffic which you have added will be displayed here and you can edit and update the traffic this is all traffic police report all of the traffic police uh, which uh, the admin has added will be displayed here right and then this is a vehicle type you can see all of the vehicle types are coming here you can edit and update vehicle types from here this is my account section from here admin can update his account password and the logout this is a session driven menu and if admin log out from the system then he will not be able to access the internal admin functionality because all of the internal functionality has been restricted by the session right so once you log out then you, you can see the administration menu is not coming but if log in then admin menus are coming right so this all of the functionalities we have developed inside this project as i told you earlier this is a java jsp web-based 
project where we are using jdk 1.7 and tomcat version 7 but if your tomcat was an 8 or 9 you can also use tomcat version 8 and 9 right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to our requirements right and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much